Why are you here today? I'm here today because there is one mainstream political leader in that place who is standing up against racism, against xenophobia, for working people, and that's Jeremy Corbyn. And if the Labour Party thinks that this is the right time to self-destruct at a time when the country really needs the credible opposition which Jeremy Corbyn provides, then more for them. Jeremy Corbyn is the right person to lead the Labour Party in the face of so much trouble that is happening right now. Harry, why are you here today? Uh, I'm here to support Jeremy because I think it's, um, I'm a member of the Labour Party, I think it's completely <laughs> undemocratic for the MPs to try and force him out and remove him in this way. And, you know, I think that he offers a real, uh, real solutions for the country and... What solutions? To bridge the divide between the Brexiters and, and the Remainers because a lot of those <coughs> communities in Britain have been become very alienated. It's obviously, I was campaigning for Remain but obviously it became like a bit of a revolt against status quo and the people who are trying to remove him don't offer any kind of solution to, for the how they're going to bridge that or what solutions they're going to offer. If there's a general election, a lot of them are going to be out, you know. Uh, the Blairites, I feel, will have to go. Demonstrations are very important. They're part of our political process. And I say thank you to each and every one of us that's come here today to say it is possible to have a different world. Was the banking crisis created by nurses, by teachers, by school school workers, by street cleaners, by the unemployed, by the disabled, by the homeless. No! Of course it was not. You know it was not. It was created by an unregulated banking system. Well, I don't really know what the Parliamentary Labour Party's endgame is, in so much as if they want to cause a leadership crisis, as you can see by the people out on here today. If we have another leadership election, which is a waste of time, just the Tories are pulling themselves apart, Corbyn's going to win. If Corbyn's on the ballot, he wins because we love him. Some Labour MPs who are ignoring the democratic election of Jeremy Corbyn. Um, hundreds of thousands of people elected Jeremy to be leader of the party and the referendum result is knocked down to Jeremy Corbyn and they're using it as an excuse to try and get rid of him in a completely undemocratic way. As soon as the coalition government was elected in 2010, it took an axe to the welfare budget. It took an axe to the local government budget. It took an axe to all the other areas of social spending. It privatised, it cut. As a result, what has happened? One million people in Britain use food banks regularly. And we are the fourth richest country in the world. Is that necessary? Is it right? And um, We think it's really important that uh, Corbyn becomes Prime Minister because there's a lot of social and economic problems in this country. The judge, Judge Gibbons, has given me a restraining order. He has taken my human rights away from me. Really important, especially for people of colour and for women. Um, Why people of colour and women? Because they're the most vulnerable in society. If anybody takes me to court now, I don't have right to defend myself. My human right has been taken away from me. He's going to support them, he's for them. I don't have right to defend my case. I don't have right as a defendant. I cannot take somebody to court even if my rights are violated. She has taken my human right away from me. I, my right of defendant, right of right to know what is happening. Everything has taken away from me. Is it really morally right or just that anyone should be forced to sleep on the streets of this country at any time? Instead of extolling the virtues of ever rising prices in the property market, particularly in London, I've got a different idea. One build council housing for those people in need. Hi, I'm here today supporting Jeremy Colburn. So I'm a Labour member. I voted for our leader. And nobody is listening to the democratically uh, elected leader. We wanted him. He should be listened to and understood by all councillors and MPs. It is not your decision, it is the decision of the people. He's elected by the people, for the people. This is the people's party and we will win the next general election with Jeremy as our democratically elected leader. <laughs> 
why are so many people here behind Jeremy Corbyn? What makes Jeremy Corbyn the man of the people? Well, I would say is his honesty, his belief in a fair society, and that's what we are fighting for. We want a fairer society. We don't want the one percent of this world that owns everything else, where the poor, the disadvantaged, the disabled, homeless, people suffering from domestic violence are getting trodden under the foot of the Tories, and that's why we're fighting them. And are you fighting against the people that want him out? His own party members? Yes. His own shadow cabinet? To be, to be quite honest, yes. Because if they are not, these people, and they've shown it this way, they're not true Labour supporters in my view, and that's the view of the group as a whole. Because they're splitting the party for personal reasons. Not political reasons, it's personal reasons that they're splitting the party. And that's why we're fighting, and we want them deselected, to be quite honest. Spending £11 billion pounds a year on in-work benefits subsidising low wages. We're spending at least £25 billion pounds a year subsidising landlords, charging extortionate rents in some parts of the country. We need a different narrative and a different story. I am not prepared to join in a campaign of Benefit Street and attacking the so-called benefit scroungers. I want us to stand up as brave people did in the 1920s and 1930s and said, we want a state that takes responsibility, a community that takes responsibility for everybody to ensure nobody is destitute. We each care for all, everyone caring for everybody else. This anti-austerity movement is a movement. It's not, absolutely not, about individuals and absolutely not about ambitious individuals. This is about a social movement of all of us that can rechange our society into something good rather than something that is cruel and divided. You all know the way forward. Thank you.